Hello and welcome to the lecture. So in the previous lecture we saw about the model dialog where we have opened through a page item value and we saw that that's a static one and we are not able to fetch it dynamically if we try to input this to one and we have to see that value. We are not able to get that so that's not possible with the traditional way of redirecting which is through the option here and for our way to redirect we have a method here that is through the plc call side we will be using the ajax callback and from there we will fetch through javascript that will be generating the url from the ajax and through that url we will be redirecting through javascript another api so that will try to perform so let's see that in the practical way so for the plc call side we need to prepare the url that is gonna be you know dynamically varying so we are going to use the apex util package and under that we have the prepare url function i know this is a long uh, kind of a package so we are gonna go to the prepare url function and this would uh, have the you know kind of three parameters where we'll be passing the url with the generic syntax if we take an example here and this is the one so we are going to use the same with our case and this is how we are going to use uh, with respect to http.p that returns the url script to the as a response from the ajax and we will use the parameter as the f question p as we know that this url will have the uh, syntax right so this is a traditional way of in the apex before the friendly url arrives so we'll be starting with the f question p and now it's in a friendly url so with the f question p and then app id this is a bind variable that automatically takes the active application id of that session so if you're gonna see that this is the application 36321 so it will be taking that if we are using internet page and followed by all these are separated by colons there are various colons here so we're gonna see a few only and here we will be using the page number so this is the page number which we're gonna redirect so in our case is the page 3 we are gonna go that's the model and this is the app session that's also a bind variable that's gonna take the session the which the page is in so in our case the session is this one so this number will be automatically taken and the only dynamic thing will be the page we are going to mention here and also the two things here that is the page item the target uh, page item so which page item we are going to set it so that page item will be you know the target page is page 3 means we are going to set it to p3 underscore that store id which is in the third page we are going to set that is in the model and then this would be the source value so the source value in our case would be the number here and this is dynamic in nature so we are gonna pass through the parameter that is the uh, for the ajax that is through the x01 if you remember through the apex application dot x01 so through the request from javascript for the value x01 we are gonna prepare the url so it will be dynamic in that way so with the thing it will return me a url script that will be in the form of a javascript you know and this will be used by the javascript with apex.navigation.redirect so we'll be seeing that now so let us copy this and create an ajax callback in our normal page which we have so this is the normal page page 2 over here so we're gonna create a process here that's under the ajax callback so let's give it as you know we are getting the script right so it's a model url script we are gonna get it it's like a javascript you can say so we're gonna paste this and here is a mistake from the document which i observed i have to use the one more braces and then we have to fill this to our way so this would be you know page 3 in our case which we gonna go and then we'll just go to this uh, redirection we'll copy that page item which we're gonna set through here so this would be this one p3 store id so going back to the ajax i'll be pasting this 
as the one so this is gonna be the one which is we are gonna vary so i'm gonna remove this and add one more concatenation that would be you know with the apex application as you remember apex underscore application dot g and score x01 so this is what we are gonna return so let's validate and click ok and we'll save it now we haven't created anything so we have to add a dynamic action on this page so let's uh, remove this redirect and make it to dynamic action and you have to uh, create here so this will request the ajax callback so i'm going to create dynamic action so this will open model click and here we'll use javascript with the apex.server.process so let me copy this one and going here i will write apex.server.process and here the first parameter would be our process name comma this one would be x01 then this is what we are gonna see so this is our thing right which we are gonna fetch apex dot item of the the source item that is the p2 store right if you remember how we are gonna get it so this is the apex dot item so p2 underscore store underscore id so this is the way we are gonna get dot get value so so i forgot to close the braces not the braces quotes so this way we're gonna get two so we are gonna copy this one so let me replace that so this is our input that will be varying from the client input so we are gonna add the next parameters that is the data type which will be text it's a long text we are gonna get through in the form of javascript and we'll see that response now through this success object that will be written in this function parameter which will be you know p data uh, return data maybe you can just make it meaningful we can put p url so let's print it and see then we can try to navigate so if we open print it the p url so we are gonna check this now with the open model click in the console so let's refresh this and there's no console here so we'll click it and we are gonna see the response here if you want to confirm this the line we are gonna add the function here which is wrapped inside this another apex provided one so we are gonna see this the url so this is you know a javascript one so what i said here so this has you know apex dot uh, navigation dot dialog and we are gonna have some more things here these are kind of important check some things and also we have uh, it's wrapped actually it's very wrapped here and here we have the p3 store id you can see and this is two so so this is the one we are gonna get it how we are gonna execute it alternatively you can execute this in console which we'll be seeing more about the security later on so if i try to copy and paste it it will execute this automatically so this is one case and we need to see that in security aspects as well to protect this this model dialog and now we will try to use another uh, javascript provided that is from the apex api we will comment this and we'll use the p url again to the apex api which i was telling it is the apex dot navigation dot redirect so this would be using to navigate through that uh, response 
so that would be uh, inputted as a parameter to that function and this would be calling our page as and we want so if i click on open model and it will take some time and now it's loaded with our input that is here so if i try to change it to three if i open it so it's opening me other the seattle one so for other things four it will open me the fourth one so in this way we are gonna achieve it so if we make it a very practical way maybe instead of inputting let me change this to a select list and we will see and this would be a select list and i have to give the you know sql query with the dr column system so i will just put select the first column which is the display value that would be you know store name i guess and i'm not sure let me confirm with the field which i was mentioning so here it will be in the page three let me revert it let us confirm now uh, what's the exact name yeah it's a store name which i used maybe i'll copy this and we'll we'll make it to our own so we'll make this as a select list to be more you know a real example way so let me make this fast and using the SQL query pasting it so store id will cut it and we'll make this store name that's d and physical address we will try to remove this and we'll paste the store id or from store so this will display the store name and return me the store id so the apex.item.get value will return me the id part only because that's the written value and the display value being the store name so we will validate and we'll see our thing here with our how we want to real way instead of inputting this this is the more case we want to see in general application use so since we have set it to the source value it's coming as two maybe we'll just make it to you know null and we don't want any extra values or null values so we will just see that and the first value will be listed because this is through alphabetical order so if i try to open model so it opens me that now it's in a very practical way to see the usefulness of the dynamic model dialog that can be used through the apex serial dot prepare url function and through that we are able to achieve the thing to open our model dialog which we wanted and there are some cases which can be a risky too so some security aspect side we need to explore more so in that way we'll see that things in the next lecture